kind of rather weird experience of, of becoming massively famous from your bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, so what, what advice, what made you do that and what advice did you give her? Well, I remember watching Bridgerton and just thinking that her performance was so stunning and I started to kind of see that she was getting very similar questions as I was, you know, about the intimate scenes and and, and the show had uh, a lot in common with normal people in that it was a love story and, and you know, there was nudity and there was, you know, and both of us were relative newcomers. And um, I actually had mutual friends with Phoebe, so we knew of each other. So when I watched her performance, I was like, you're amazing. Um, <laughs> and she was like, oh, you know, should we have a wee Zoom? Um, uh, you know, I would love to kind of process this with you. And, um, and at the time I was in quarantine, so I was like, hadn't spoke to anyone um so it was really lovely we had a, a zoom call and yeah it was just nice to kind of digest uh how we were feeling and and kind of sort of understand you know there's a lot about the shows coming out that were so wonderful and amazing but it was also um quite overwhelming to suddenly you know be aware of the things you say being sort of sometimes mis misrepresented or or, or or written about and and also, you know, talk, intimate scenes and how that, how that was for both of us and, and how lucky we felt that we both had intimacy coordinators. And I just think it's really important as um, actors to, to kind of find a community because I always think this, but on sets, every department is a department. You know, you have an electric department and, and you know, the camera department and there's a, there's a boss who sort of looks after you all. But on sets, actors don't, ha they're not a department. You don't have necessarily a group sort of mentality sometimes it can be very individual but that means you know if there is a group mentality you can look after each other and you know um learn about how you know how to navigate certain situations on set so I, I think it's really important as young actors coming up to look after each other in that way yes I mean that's particularly relevant because um in where the crawdads saying you're working with Reese Witherspoon mm. and I I mean I would imagine she's pretty inspirational in that way Completely, because she is she is so um, first of all very kind, but also very powerful. And you know, I mean, she's a businesswoman. She has created this whole um, production company, and you know, she's just optioning books. And and you know, she's navigated being um, famous from a very young age with such grace. So yeah, she was very inspiring. She's sort of a bit of a, a role model for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm a massive Reese Witherspoon <laughs> fan, so I had to keep my cool. <laughs> and, and is that something you'd like to, to do in the future, is actually sort of um, produce yourself? I think so. I, I think that's definitely something I'm in 